Hello, welcome to Herney Community Television HCTV news that you can use. Broadcasting on both Cox and Verizon. We are here today to give you the news report for the week of March 10th. My name is Ryan Dunn. And I'm Taylor Simone. This week there has been, past weekend there was a number of activity over at Nice Smith School at the STEM Symposium. The sponsors, including Lidos and Vincor, hosted the second annual K-12 Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics, or STEM, symposium for more than 12,000 children, including parents, teachers, and other business leaders who attended the event on March 7th at the school in Herndon. The symposium provided the opportunity for K-12 students in the National Capital Region to showcase their achievements in STEM and to interact with businesses, education, and nonprofit groups, as well as government leaders, showing presentations about how science, technology, engineering, and mathematics impacts our community. Dr. Evan Glazer, the principal of Thomas Jefferson High School, gave a keynote address, and Lou Von Thayer with Lattice served as the program's co keynote speaker. Virginia Senator Tim Kane kicked off the afternoon program to discuss the importance of generating interest and passion for science and technology fields early on in children's lives. Also attending were members of Team 519, the FTC branch of Herndon High School robotics team. In Herndon High School sports news, a special congratulations is in order for Emily Mellish. She won the Division VI Swim State Championship with 100 backstrokes. You go, girl. Sam Milligan took third place for the state wrestling tournament. Good job, Sam. And Alexa Bradley, she won the Concord 5 all-around gymnastics title. A special applause for all, for all of them. Congratulations. Herndon Middle School. The Herndon Middle School Honors Panel for Rising 7th Grade Parents and Guardians will be meeting the morning of Wednesday, March 11th at the Middle School Cafeteria. A panel of teachers will discuss the Honors Program and how to meet the needs of students in advanced academic programs to provide an appropriate rigor for all. The principal will discuss the course selection and placement process. There will be a time for questions. At Rachel Carson Middle School, Students were named to the 2015 Middle School Honors Chorus. A group will perform on Saturday, April 25th at the Sheraton Premiere at Tyson's Corner. Parent orientation for the school for rising 7th graders has been scheduled for Thursday, March 12th. Time frames for the orientation will remain the same. The Kids Trout Fishing Derby is here on March 14th from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m., but the event you can come to the event as early as 7 a.m. in the morning. So come on down. It'll be fun. It'll be a relaxing day of fishing for you and your family. So if you've never done it before, we want to see you there. And if you have, we, wanna, we want you to come on back because HTTV will be there. For more information, please visit herndon-va.gov. And come on and get lots of fish. TED Talks is coming to Herndon. The Ted X Herndon event is being held for the first time at the Industrial Strength Theater in Herndon on March 14th from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. The event will focus on spreading innovative ideas and creating a culture of creativity in Northern Virginia. The event will feature 15 speakers and performers from Northern Virginia. In the spirit of Ted's mission of spreading ideas worth sharing, the Ted X program helps communities, organizations, and individuals produce Ted style events at the local level. TEDx events are planned and coordinated independently on a community-by-community -community basis under a free license from TED. Tickets can be purchased for the event online at Next Stop Theater website. The Public Works Project Phase 3 of the Roadway and Streetscape Impro Improvement Project has begun. Expect temporary lane closures between Center Street and Park Avenue. Improvements include installation of new water main, storm sewer, curb and gutter, repavement, sidewalk, crosswalks, and all that good stuff that will hold up traffic. But don't fret because Phase 1 and Phase 2 are complete. So for more information on road closures and traffic delays, please visit herndon-va.gov. The Reston Makers Fair. Hundreds of innovators and crafters will be gathering at Reston South Lakes High and Langston Hughes Middle School this Sunday, March 15th, for the Nova Makers Fair. This will be the second year of the event, 
held at the school campuses at 11400 South Lakes Drive, Reston, about two miles from the south from the Civil Lane, at Wheelie Reston East Metro Station. Free parking and free bus services will be available from the Metro, which is located at a one and a half mile walk or bike ride. A bike valet will be also available at the site. The family friendly event is sponsored by Nova Labs and is a great opportunity to showcase creativity and innovation and expose people of all ages to amazing projects, including drones, robots, 3D printers, programming, and fabric arts. The Heritage Preservation Review Board work session will be at 7 p.m. at the HMC. Hernan High News. The principals of Hernan Pyramid are thrilled to bring the Soul, Science, and Culture of Hope Symposium to Hernan High School on Wednesday, March 25th. Mr. Antoine Fisher, nationally recognized poet, author, and screenwriter, and Mr. Rick Miller, the Kids at Hope founder, will spend an evening sharing about what can be accomplished when adults refuse to give up on kids. Please mark your calendars and join the Herndon community for what stands to be a wonderful and inspirational evening. The Architectural Review Board will be held on Wednesday, March 11th at 7.30 p.m., so make sure you go to that. You don't want to miss that. Remember, it's your voice, your talent. Let it be heard. For more information, please visit herndon-va.gov. Artspace Herndon News. At Art Space Herndon, the first Friday cinema continues with the showing of the movie The Untouchables, Friday, March 13th at 7.30 p.m. Tickets are $7.50 for the movie and popcorn. Concessions will be available for purchase. And on Saturday, March 28th, there will be a performance by the Celt Liberties, an award-winning quartet of musicians from Abington, Virginia, playing stringed instruments in the style of Scottish and Irish immigrants who settled in the Virginia frontier. The band plays Celtic tunes with a mountain flavor. They will be joined by a professional flat-footed dancer, Emily Olson, performing Celtic and Appalachian dance. The Celtic Liberties have appeared at the Smithsonian Folklife Festival, Blue Ridge Mountain Center, Music Center, and the Virginia Highlands Festival. This has been Herndon Community Television's HCTV's Herndon News that you can use. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Ryan Dunn. And I am Taylor Simone, and we will see you next week. Until then, good day.